is um April the eighth, two thousand seven. Haven't done a blog since St. Patrick's Day. Uh oh. Yeah, New Orleans, baby. That's one I'm from, I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I grew up on this New Orleans shout music as they call it. It's on DJ Jimmy. Where they at? They um, give credit on the internet to Juvenile for the song because he was on the song. But um, it's DJ Jimmy. Where they at? From 19, I think 1990, in the early 90s, 91, 92. This when Gregory D. and Manny Fresh were still together. Juvenile was just starting in the business. Straight New Orleans was coming up in the 90s. Where they at? Was it? It's the jam. But anyway, um, as you know, they consider this to be, I guess, Easter. Today's Easter. Everybody and their mama and their daddies, they all go to church. Even though a lot of them don't go to church <laughs> every Sunday. For some reason, Easter Sunday is the day everybody wants to go to church. Because, as I guess the Bible says, um... God died on Good Friday and rose again three days later, which is Easter Sunday. And that's why we celebrate Easter. Bunch of bullshit. Um, once again, people, you know, they put so much emphasis on a bunch of written words written millions of times over and over throughout the millions of years it's been in existence. we all talking about the Bible. So people just automatically put so much emphasis on this Sunday because it's the, supposedly the Sunday or the day Jesus rose from the dead. Bullshit. But for some reason our people, our people, African Americans, push, believe in anything we so gullible to believe in anything that is told to us or preached to us because we've been so brainwashed <laughs> over the hundreds of years we've been here in America because of ignorance. We don't put forth the effort to um, read for ourselves and learn because we just believe anything the white man tells us. Because I remember, I think last year, Good Friday was on the third week and Easter was on the third week of April. For some reason, this year is on the first week. I guess every year is going to be different. But they pretty much don't know <laughs> what day Jesus died or was born again or raised again for our sins or whatever. But people put so much emphasis on the Bible and they believe anything because of ignorance. And that's why we have so many hate groups because they put so much emphasis on the Bible. They read it, interpret it, and um, pretty much have their own interpretation of what the Bible says. That's why we have the Ku Klux Klan, the Aryan Nation, black separatist groups, and other hate groups that hate other people because of the Bible. And words that have been rewritten from Hebrew to what it is today, millions of times over by millions of different writers, written it over and over again to where the translations are now. How many translations of the Bible are there now? Fifty. The New Testament, New Translation, the African American version of it, the Hebrew. Ver there's so many damn versions of the Bible, and people just automatically read it and have their own interpretation of it and that's why we have so many ignorant people today hating one another because of the ignorance and that's why everybody go to church on this Sunday because they feel in some way shape or form oh this is the Sunday you gotta go because this is the day Jesus rose again for our sins bullshit <laughs> you can't go to church every Sunday then your ass ain't right anyway oh a lot of people gonna get pissed off by that I don't give a fuck Right now, in my life, I don't give a fuck. I got other things to worry with than going to church on a Sunday. I don't go to church. I haven't been to church since 1988, 89, before I moved back to Baton Rouge. So I haven't been to church since I was 18 years old. I do read the Bible. I do pray. And I do believe in God. Jehovah. Buddha, whatever you want to call the higher power to be that made everything possible in my life. I do believe in God, but one thing I don't believe in is everything the white man or black man or Asian man tells me. Because simple fact, I have a brain and I have a mindset to where I can read on my own. I don't need another man or middleman to tell me 
what I can read my damn self. That's one thing I was taught in life. Just because you go to school, you get the education, they try to teach you what they want to teach you. Put forth the effort to pick up a book once you learn how to read and write and read for yourself. Because a white teacher or a white school or a white principal or whatever, black principal, they ain't going to teach you what you need to learn. Only you can teach yourself what has to be learned and what you want to learn. The colleges and high schools and all that, they pretty much going to teach you what the government and what the whites want you to learn about history and about life. So that's why I don't put too much emphasis on the Bible. I read it. <laughs> just history as they say of supposedly our people and how we involved over the years and as you see we pretty much repeating history because a lot of people consider America to be the new Babylon and if you know what the old Babylon is you know what pretty much happened to the old Babylon <laughs> that got conquered and destroyed and the nation didn't exist after that like most powerful nations they crumble <clears throat> so they consider America the new Babylon so pretty much is it gonna happen to the new Babylon America only time will tell <laughs> history likes repeating itself a lot that's why a lot of our people African Americans are ignorant they're more concerned about um, rims materialistic things um, cars and Cadillacs and money and gold diamonds in their teeth shit <laughs> of no value the only value I feel that you should have in life is what's in here what you know because simple fact that's all that you have in life money comes and goes materialistic things come and go but your mind and what you have learned and what you learn ain't gonna go nowhere and that's one thing they can't take from you and you take a look at your ancestors before slavery they took our ancestors from the motherland which is Africa brought us brought our ancestors here they took language they took our freedom they took our people's well-being and everything we ever learned while we were our ancestors were in Africa. A lot of our ancestors, as you may or may not know, were kings, queens, warriors, mother bearers. They were inventors, and all that was taken from my ancestors when our ancestors were brought here. And the only thing they gave us was misery, the Old Testament, which a lot of our people believe in because of ignorance. And what else they gave us? Nothing. And now that we're supposedly free, um, what we do with that freedom? Go to church on an Easter Sunday because the white man, you know, or a book that has been translated hundreds of times over and over again by different writers telling us this is the day that Jesus rose again from the dead for our sins <laughs> whatever but anyway I um, have no plans today never have no plans on <laughs> the weekends next weekend I have to work so at least I'll be doing something next weekend but um, for those that I have offended in the past or today because of my comments I do believe in God I do believe in a higher power. I just don't believe in everything that is written in books. I consider the Bible to be no more than that. A book written millions of times over in a millions of year period. And I don't believe everything that is written. I just live life and just live it until the day I die. And just live it correctly and live it right not because the Bible says it because I have the mindset to know what's right and what's wrong but anyway I'm going to jam the Timberland and I'll talk to y'all later